This is the Lenovo V15 G2 Notebook and I will show you the complete process to restore the operating system on this computer. If you have virus, malware, system errors or the computer is slow, you can restore the operating system and be as it was when you bought it in the store. This model has a 15.6 inch screen, an Intel Core i5 1135G7 processor, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, a M.2 NVMe storage via PCI Express 3, so it is very good for work. But sometimes, after a few years of work, you may want to restore the operating system and completely clean the computer to make it look like new. So that's the process I'm going to show you in this video. But first, subscribe to the channel to see more videos about the unboxing, specifications, repair or upgrade, speed tests, battery tests, which I will publish on the channel so you don't miss anything. So to start the process, you first have to shut down the computer. Because when activating the one key recovery system, it will turn on the computer and start the menu. So with the computer off, on this side of the computer, we have this little hole which is actually a button to press. For this, you will need this tool or a paper clip to insert it in the hole. So with this tool, we insert it into the hole that is on the right side of the computer, near the port. When you put it in, the LED lights up, which means that the computer has turned on and it starts with this menu that allows us to configure the computer when starting. We have the options for normal setup, BIOS setup, root menu or system recovery. And it is the fourth option that you want to recover the operating system on the computer. We select this option. We wait a bit until the menu for the recovery system starts. It should be fast. In my case, the menu is in Portuguese, but the English menu is similar. We have the options to start Windows, connect a device such as a USB or a DVD, troubleshooting, or turn off the PC. The option we want is the third one, which is troubleshooting. And now we have the option of reset this PC or advanced options. Let's see this menu first. We can do a startup repair, change startup settings, run the command line, uninstall updates, UFI firmware settings, or system restore. But let's back to the previous menu, because the option we want to choose is the first one, reset this PC. So we choose that option. And now we can choose keep my files, or remove everything. What we're going to want to choose is remove everything because I don't want to keep personal files. Now we can reset this PC from a cloud transfer or do it from a local reinstallation, which means that I will read locally the image of the operating system. And we choose that. We wait a little bit. This process only takes a few seconds. Now, we have two more options. Just remove my files, which says use this option if you are going to keep your PC. Or we have the second option that says do a complete drive cleanup. Use this option if you are going to recycle this PC. This process will may take a few hours. I'm going to keep this PC, so I choose the first option just to remove the files. We wait again a few seconds until the next menu. Everything is getting ready, depending on the options we chose. It's almost there. And now we have a warning before I hit the reset button that say, are you ready to reset this device? This action cannot be undone. Make sure the device is turned on. This option can take a long time. Therefore, you must have the computer connected to a power source because this process can take up to 20 minutes. And it says, resetting will remove all personal files, 
and user accounts on this device, remove all changes made to the settings, remove all installed applications that didn't come with the PC, and reinstall Windows on this device. Therefore, from the moment we press the reset button, the process cannot be stopped. So, let's press it. And now, the process may take some time. Normally, between 5 to 10 minutes for the first process, which will read the system image and prepare the installation. And then, the second process that installs the operating system. Now, you just have to wait. The time of this process will depend on the speed of your SSD or the size of the image of the operating system you are installing. And you don't need to do anything at this point. I will pause the video until we get to the next menu. You can see that the percentage growth is not constant. There will be parts of the percentage that takes longer and other parts that are faster. But I want to show you the complete process. So you can see how the second process starts. We are at 41% right now. We are now at 98%, 99%. So we are almost done. And I want you to show the transition because this phase is reading the operating system image and preparing the install. And the second phase will start the installation process of the operating system. And we are almost there. And we have reached the end. We are almost finished this first process, continuing to prepare. And now we have the blue screen for the installation of Windows operating system. Right now, we are already installing Windows. In this case, it's Windows 10. So don't turn off the computer and keep it plugged in into a power source. This process will restart the computer several times. We have that information on the screen so make sure you have power. The computer will turn off and on again, but that's normal because it's the normal Windows installation process. As we can see right now, the computer restarts, the Lenovo logo appears, the installation continues, and we continue to wait. At this point, we are already at 65% of this phase of the installation. The Windows installation process should take about 10 minutes, but it will depend on the speed of the SSD on the computer, usually between 10 minutes and 15 minutes. So you just have to wait for the percentage to reach 100%, and this blue screen disappears. It's almost over. We wait a little more. We have the message just a moment longer, we are at the end of the operating system installation. We just have to wait in these two phases of the installation process. But I want to show you the whole process so you can see exactly the process and not be afraid when the computer restarts and the screen goes black because as you can see, it's normal in the installation of the system. And we enter the Windows configuration menu at this moment Windows is already installed. We just have to configure a user account. After configuring a user, we wait while this message appears because it is making the last configuration to start the system. And in the moment, the computer will be ready. In this process, it says this operation can take a few minutes and should take up to two minutes. We just have to wait just a little longer a few seconds more, it won't take much longer, and we're almost at the end. We already have a new message, leave everything to us, and now we have it. It's almost and and we enter the operating system, and the operating system is installed, configured, and ready to be used. From this moment, the computer is ready, and you can use it. Let's see the version. We installed Windows 10, but if you have Windows 11, Windows 11 will be installed. 
I hope this video helped to see how to recover the operating system with the complete process, so you don't have any doubts how to do it. So, subscribe to the channel for more videos every week, hit the like button and if you have any questions, write in the comments. If you want to see more videos about the Lenovo IdeaPad V15, like the unboxing, specs, how to open, repair or see speed tests, but also videos about other computers, I'm always buying new computers to do demonstrations, so subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.